We are on our way to London to meet up with some friends. Arriving at King's Cross Station, what's the best way to get there? The Hogwarts Express, right? Yeah, and where's the best place to get the Hogwarts Express from? Hogsmeade. Right here where we are right now. Any facts about this great, amazing venue they've got for us? Well, maybe one thing that you should know is that every block here was made by hand, all put together by hand. Another thing you should know is that I've had quite a few butter beers, so that's why we're running a little bit late, but hopefully everything's so authentic, just like the British rail system, it'll be late. I don't know, it looks pretty on time. Here it comes out. Here it comes out. Hello. Right, so here we are, the Hogwarts Express, and I have to say, isn't she a beauty? She really is. And the best thing I've got to admit about this Hogwarts Express and the one we filmed with is that when it comes into the station, all the soot's coming out. There's no soot, you don't get covered in it. And James will remind you, well, I'm sure he'll agree, it isn't a good look. It's not. The only good thing is it hides Oliver's face. Right, right should we go to London? <sighs> Anything from the trolley, dear? Oh, shut up, get in the train. Okay. Sorry, he's always like that. Anywhere we travel, we can't go with him anyway. I wonder where they are. I don't know. It's just it's like taking them. a long time. I know. So right now we're leaving Hogsmeade. Off we go on the way to London. About time, really. Bye, Hagrid. See you, Hagrid. It's a bit green outside, isn't it? Well, you see, did you know the weather in Hogwarts is perfect for the climate of these trees? Is it really? Did you know another fact as well? As we're on the train, you'll like this one. So the fabric, what we have on the inside of the train here, was actually flown all the way over from the UK from the actual manufacturers who made this fabric so they could make the train as identically perfect as the Hogwarts Express we used during the film. And as we're going along, I know you guys can't feel this, but we've actually got the movement of a train on a track. So just keeping that authenticity of, hello guys, keeping the authenticity of bumping along on the train and going around corners, it's bang on, right? It is, yeah, because the guys actually went over to England to ride a train to feel what the movement felt like. And they've incorporated that in the design. Hey, he's a good looking guy. Oh, oh he's the better one. Woo woo! Hey, like that. <laughs> Best part of the whole ride, I have to admit. Yes. And no gingers were injured in filming this segment of the ride. Right, so I think I can relax now. I've seen that bit. I'm going to do a little looping and fall asleep in the corner like that. So there you probably did just see the highlight of the whole experience. In fact, the whole of Diagon Alley, possibly the whole of Florida. But anyway, as for now, we're going straight through into Malfoy Manor. So now we're in England, but you see it's a dark, eerie place. So we're going through the English countryside, and you'll notice this as well on the, on the journey, is it actually takes you through the journey. You don't just go straight from me to uh, on the platform nine and three quarters. You go through the countryside and on the way and you feel the train tilt and turn and everything like that. It really is good, isn't it? Yep. I think we'll be pulling in on time. They'll be happy. Where are they? I don't know. I don't know. There's only I mean, so long you can wait. I to come like an hour ago. I really I want some ice cream. I know. Typical. As we're going through London, now wizards often need a place to stay when they're in a time of crisis. Of course, you need a night bus, really. So, oh, what's that? Going over the docks? And creeping through the buildings, there, is, oh, there, there he is. is. Driving just like my brother, going through town. Gets there on time, no one's injured, and everyone's happy. Sorry, right. and this is the a little new did you know fact is that this is the actual route what the Hogwarts Express would take if it's going into London King's Cross. The actual sights and sounds you see while going into the station. And you see the Gherkin, famous London skyscraper, pulling on to the famous platform nine and three quarters. So hopefully they're here and we haven't just rushed for nothing. They're going to be here for a while. I know, I know. I don't even know why. Right, so we're here in King's Cross Station in London. Platform nine and three quarters. Uh, hi folks, sorry about the delay. Hey, you took I your mean, time. It took you long enough. No, we're bang on time. Oh, we've been waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty excited Traffic. for Come on, we got to go. Ice cream. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Go get some. Where's good? Uh, well, apparently I had this really good place. Yeah. Go around easy. Right, so Donal and Bonnie have gone to get us ice cream, but why is he here? Matt, why are you here? Oh, I've got a webcast. No, no, no this, no, this no. is our this webcast. Is our webcast. So we've been, uh, we've, been, we've been talking to the guys. We've taken them all the way from Hogsmeade to here, and now I don't know what you've got written down here, but it certainly doesn't say anything about. It actually says when... James and Oliver's amazing podcast webcast. I'm tomorrow. You are. 
We're saving the best to last. I understand how this is working. So, uh, well, I'm going to go watch the England game then, in that case. Oh, yeah. And you can catch me and Alan Gilmore and Tom Felton tomorrow on the Superior webcast. Is that 12 o'clock? 12 o'clock noon. 12 yeah. o'clock tomorrow. OK, well, all right, get lost. See you. I will. Cheers, guys. All right, cheers. Bye. Bye. Fine. We're going to go find Donal and Bonnie and get some ice cream. Take care. See you later.